Oh my gosh, how exciting. Sarah, is this your first time? This is my first time. <gasps> oh my gosh. So happy to share this with you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hi, everybody. So obviously, it's not my first time ever going live, but it is my first time using StreamYard and doing it with a guest. And I'm so happy that Sam was my kind of my guinea pig. He's been really helpful with getting all of this set up. So I am. Um, I'm so grateful. I'm grateful that you're here and I'm grateful that you helped me. I'm so I'm excited, so excited so. to be here. It's very exciting to like be in control now because usually when we are together, you're the one who's at, who's controlling all of it because I haven't been able right. to do it. <laughs> <laughs> right. How the how the tides have shifted. I have I have no controls right now. I just all it lets me do is be here, which is kind of nice. I'm very looking for I all I can see I can see the comments. I can see Sarah. I think that's all I need right now. So yeah, that's all you need. I'll take it. Yeah. You can take on the rest of it. That's fine with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, everybody. Okay, so first of all, I gotta say to everybody, thank you so much for all of the birthday wishes. Oh my gosh, I was overwhelmed with all the messages that I got yesterday. So, so grateful. I'm thankful for that, you guys. It was it was awesome. Also, I want to say thank you guys for being patient with me today. We normally start our live at one o'clock, but I ran into some things that were uh, out of my control, but now we're all here. So thanks for being patient. I've been looking forward to this live. So I, oh, really? I hope you guys will enjoy this one. Yeah, this is a good one. It's a good one. So I think the, this, I think the design's kind of rocking. I got to see, get a glimpse of it um in the sam's bead shop class on saturday yes and it's so cool to see how you've like evolved it yeah it's amazing it's amazing to me i think this is a really wonderful representation of what is possible with a sam's bead box okay so for those of you who are like okay we don't understand what are you guys talking about so this past saturday i was live with sam on sam's bead shop facebook live and i put together a necklace using the latest bead box from sam's bead shop and this is the necklace that we put together so you guys can see what it looks like okay and today we are going to first we're going to look at the beautiful beads that are in the in the box yeah. minus the ones Ooh. that are attached to that i still i still don't know what your favorites are from the box sarah i know i can't wait to go through this so i'm super excited <laughs> But I'm gonna recreate this necklace. We're gonna we're gonna do the same project. So if you saw it on Saturday, you're just gonna see it again. But the difference is, is that I'm using different beads from the same box, and the feeling of the necklace is completely different. And it to me, it just shows the versatility and the value and the just the amazing color palette that you put into these boxes because you can literally make the exact same piece of jewelry in two different color schemes and get a completely mm -hmm. different feeling for it. And then not only that, but still have so much left over. Like I'm creating two necklaces and I still have so many beads to use. It's amazing to me when you really start working with all of the beads, how much you actually have available to work with. You pack these puppies up. It's amazing. It's really amazing. And you don't appreciate that until you actually have them all scattered out in front of you and are working with them. So um, that I hope everybody I, sees that today. I hope everybody gets a good feel for that. Totally. I'm so glad you feel that way. I also think your approach to the box is like really smart, Sarah, because especially by mixing it in with wire work, yeah. you're adding your own components into the mix and like further... Oh yeah. I don't know. Enlarging the scope of what's possible with the box. Oh yeah, because absolutely. It, you're I think you're you're seem like someone who's good at like stretching beads like <laughs> to, to last a long time. And there's a good amount there, but like it's a strand here, it's a strand of this, a strand of this, a pack of that. Right. But like you're able to make multiple pieces out of out of the box. Yeah. Um like sizable pieces, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you got to give yourself some credit there, though. I mean, it really is a lot. I think for for the money, particularly, I feel like Sam's bead box is such an amazing value. Your price point is perfect. But then I always end up with more than I expect. And that to me is just like that 
that just makes me feel so good. It's like, I feel like, oh, Sam is like taking care of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel mm -hmm. like you, you really give, you really feel for the customer and like you're, you're giving us a little extra, right? That's what it always feels like. It feels like, oh, mm -hmm. I, I paid for this box, but like, he's given me more than what this is, what I paid for. And that's a, that's a really cool feeling as a customer, because that means that I can put like, I, you're no longer a business. You're my friend who's taking care of me BD wise. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that's so, no, I love that idea because like I was reading Samin Nosrat's book, uh, yeah. finally, like Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat, like the biggest sensation of the last couple of years, cookbook wise. And like she, in the intro, she describes herself as like, I want to be your kitchen friend. And I like love that whole thought because it's like, there's a generosity in it that I just like really connect with. Yes. Um, yes. That like she's there that she because she wants you to like grow on your own as with the you understanding the ingredients that you have and the techniques you have and right. can learn and improve. It's kind of the same thing here. It absolutely is. Yeah, it really, really is. And your generosity is shining through your bead boxes. It's it's amazing. You nailed it. That's a perfect. That's a perfect. Well, thank way you. I I. I appreciate that. That's very sweet of you. Well, I'm uh, hey, I'm I'm just I'm just telling the truth. That's that's just the way it is. It's yeah. It, it's it's always a pleasure to open your bead boxes. So, um, for those of you Thank out you there so who much. have not signed up for the bead boxes, when is the time that they can sign up, Sam? How can yeah you, how can yeah? You? I see a few questions. So why don't I just knock these out? So, right, cool. bead box thirty nine bucks a month. Um, plus $3.99 shipping for U.S. customers. And I also have pretty affordable shipping for international folks. The only country I currently can't ship to is the United Kingdom country, countries. Um, just because of VAT is very complicated for a small business. Right. Yes. Um, maybe one day we can, it'll be a little simpler. Um, I also just don't. Anyway, so that's the only place I can't send to. Chris, uh, Kirstie was asking about that. Um, so timeline. So what, what, where, what, the, what day is it? It's the 20th. Mm -hmm. So you have until the ninth of each month to start a subscription. So if, like, if you wanted to join the, the, the bandwagon now, we're currently in July. So if you join, if you join by August 9th, you will get the August box. Um, pending availability. Cause if it's, if we run out of new slots, I open like a few new slots up each month. Um, so if you run out of slots before then, then you won't be able to sign up until the next month. So if you're interested in joining, you can go to samspeedbox.com and sign up um, now if you want, and you'll get the August box. Um, and you can use code Sarah. Don't forget to, don't, don't, that's the best way you can support Sarah is you just type in S-A-R-A -A at checkout and you'll get five bucks off your first month. So it'll be only 34 bucks for our, like probably double that in beads usually. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think, I think we had like 10 slots left for August right now. Wow. Um, oh, those are I didn't, op so I didn't I open up as, as many this month, um, just cause <laughs> we realized it's a lot of work to assemble boxes, so we can only do so many. <laughs> so if you'd like to join, you can, you should go ahead and sign up. Um, any hints on next month's box? Nope. Nope. None at all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, -uh. I, I, Someone was like, you said, a, you said a hint on Sarah's, on your class with Sarah. And I was like, oh my God, I totally did. I was, Sarah must have gotten me feeling good or something because I totally spilled some beads on this box. I can't do that again, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will, I will, I will, I will encourage you to do that. But there was a question here. Um, one of our, one of our ladies, Pat says, is the quality good in the bead box? Okay, so I'm going to answer this one because I'm okay. <laughs> Um, so I've worked with a lot of beads in the industry for a very, very long time. And I can tell you, I have had beads pass through my hands in a wide variety of quality, uh, you know, slots, right? Where they all fit. Same. And I can personally attest, and I'm going to show you guys the beads that are in this month. Uh, I'm going to show them to you. So you're going to be able to see them, but please take my word for it. When I say the quality of the beads that Sam picks out is top notch and i can say that and stand behind that like i'm not just blowing smoke because i have worked in the past with beads that were not great quality um i 
when I worked for JTV, for instance, we had beads that came from several different vendors. And sometimes we would have great quality and other times we would have, mm, and you, you start mm -hmm. to kind of see what to look for in good quality beads. And I got to say, I've never had a bead from Sam's, not just from the bead box, but just that I've ordered from Sam's website that has been below par in any way, shape or form. They're always... Okay. I don't want to say they're perfect because nothing is perfect, but they're as close to per perfect as you can get. They really are. Right. And I feel like there is, there must be, you must inspect, you must look right. Because I know that's important <laughs> to you. Yeah. I mean, that's part of the benefit if, of supporting a small shop is pretty much any small shop you go with. Like we, there's just a lot more like human love going into your order yeah. than you'll get with like a bigger company. Um, so it, that's always been like hugely important to me. There's there's certain beads where like there's some variance in it, and I will sit and go through <laughs> <laughs> all of the beads. I'm like, uh uh, uh uh. Yeah. Um, and also now that I have like folks helping me like bag beads, and it's not just me anymore. Like working with them just to make sure like we have some good quality control. Right. But I list every single bead on the site. So I like, I am holding every item. I'm looking at it. I pull out strands that I don't like. It's really, it's always been really important to me that there's consistency and the quality is good. I just like, you should, one simply should not have stress buying beads online. Like yeah, how antithetical to like, you're in a, you're in a, a hobby that's supposed to be enjoyable and pleasurable, but then you're getting stressed out that like, you're not going to get like a good item and, or like, you're not going to be happy. So Right. I try to like make the happy rate as high as possible. And if something does happen, you can just tell me and you can return it. Like that's not a big deal. Right. Yeah. Um, so th I appreciate it. Thank you for the very kind feedback. I appreciate it. <laughs> of course. All right. So uh, one more question before we move um, down to the mat and we, we get beady with this. Um, yeah. Some people are asking, since this is my first time using StreamYard, I am in fact streaming to both Facebook Live and to YouTube. So this is the first time that that's ever happened. So for those of you who are watching live on YouTube, hello, <gasps> welcome. We're so happy that you are here. And Hi, you YouTube. Part of this. Yeah, so hello, YouTube. We love you. Um, if It says that there is about 68 of you at the moment. So On YouTube? Yeah, that's impressive. That's impressive. Whoa. So you guys... If YouTube is going to be your main way of watching this, I'm I don't I don't, I'm glad. <laughs> like, I'm yeah, glad I can be with you live now. So yeah, because we can here. see the comments on YouTube yeah. and Facebook here, which is kind of cool. They're definitely going a little quickly, but we can see them. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show you guys some of the beads now. Keep in mind, some of these beads I've used in a previous project, right? They're attached to a necklace. Um, but I still have a lot of beady goodness. And Sam's going to tell you guys uh, about this mix and about this box. All right. Wait, so wait, Sarah, we'll Sarah, 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 before you turn around. Yes? We forgot about something. What did we forget? We haven't sung you happy birthday yet. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know what's funny? Please? Nobody sang happy birthday to me this year. In fact, yesterday morning, I got up and had a piece of birthday cake oh, drink with my, tea. my coffee. And that was all. Nobody sang. I kind of hummed it in my head. <laughs> Are you going to sing? Am I allowed to sing you happy birthday? <laughs> you can. It'll totally make me blush. But yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh my God, the rusty pipes. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Oh Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Sarah. Happy birthday to you. Amazing. I don't want you to sing box. you happy birthday. The chill box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like nervous. I'm like, oh my god, I haven't sung for people in ages. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm like shaking god. over here. <laughs> I am feeling the 
saying that from the top of my head all the way down to my toes, Sam, you are a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Now someone is well. Someone needs to sing you "Happy Birthday," Sarah. So now we at least one person has. I think more people should, but oh at least gosh. one person has. That was amazing. That was amazing. Oh my gosh! Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna live on that high for the rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we are? I have to tell you a story. When we were live the very first time together, like a few months ago. Folks were like, Sam, why didn't you sing? Why didn't you sing? And I was like, oh, I know, like, I probably, I'd be like, cool, I don't know. <laughs> and I like, I was sitting in a parking lot. I was like, what if I like wrote a song about Sarah? And I, I like sort of did and I recorded it, but it was so bad. I never posted it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it was literally a video of me in an Ikea parking lot. I was like, it was just, <laughs> I think I, it was the song where I called you the Oprah of beating and I used that lyric in it. And it's still on my phone and probably will forever be on my phone. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have to send that to me. You have to send that to me. You can't just tell me that there's a song about me on your phone that you sang in the Ikea parking lot and didn't send to me. <laughs> that may be the greatest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh my, oh my gosh. Okay. Woo. I'm gonna get okay. Uh, we gotta all right. We gotta we gotta beat. <laughs> yep, we gotta beat now. All right, so I'm going to switch my camera around and we are gonna get to business here. Uh oh. Can we are see you gonna make it? Oh, there, there we, we go. Can see you wanna make yourself I can show you how to make yourself huge if you want. Um, do I <laughs> make myself huge? Do I <laughs> so that there's three dots in like the top right corner of your of your box and you just want to hit like there's three full dots. view or something um show so self solo there we yes. go oh, so folks you. should still be able to hear me but they can only see you now all right awesome okay cool 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 all right let's talk about i'm going to move these over to the side because these we're going to use in our design and i'm going to do like the quick version of the design because i really want to focus on these beads so sam tell us about Tell us about this box, what inspired you, and you had a special help with this box. I did. So our theme this month is Coastal Bound. So folks, who's ready to go drive to the coast and relax and to see beautiful nature, that is the whole vibe of this box. So it's intentionally not a beach box. It is a coastal box The idea, with the idea being that it's not like necessarily just glistening water and sand, but we've got more natural natural elements mixed in. So Sarah's got the um, a brown mix, which you might not expect for like a beach box, but I wanted more of like a pebble beach and yeah. I don't know, more of like a foggy beach and a beach that has trees and just and flowers and things more than just like a, a sandy beach. That's the idea. Right. So my sister curated this with me and she loves like natural elements and like deeper tones. She loves like brown tones and kind of Picasso on other beads, which you'll see in a couple of the beads. Um, because I think basically her, her whole like, because she's she made jewelry for years, uh, many years ago. She's the one who got me into it. And she's not someone who like loves super brights she's always likes more tones like this that are then complemented right. by soft colors yeah so the idea is you take an item we we took an item like this and then wanted to complement it with like a soft item like like a sea glass which has like a oh. like a matte quality going over it right um but ha and kind of like just like not it's not the whole idea is like it's not in your face i think that i i don't i'm almost having a dis trouble describing my own box because <laughs> i want <laughs> sometimes i'm like can it just speak for itself but <laughs> so hopefully i'm making sense yeah you um, are and this is this is that sea glass that's exactly what this this says to me is sea glass look at that green doesn't it doesn't it, i mean it's so close like some of the yeah. real sea glass you see yeah it's um we tried to pick more of like the natural sea glass colors. Yeah. So you have the green and then there's the earring pair that's like a sea foam, like kind of Coke bottle type. 
Yeah, I love the um, finish. I think though I love that like seafoam color. It's always been it's always called to me. Right. Gosh, they're and so then, beautiful. Aren't those cool? Yeah. I love, 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 love. And then what we and then we have two other seagulls items that are in like a light sapphire color. Um and maybe less, definitely less common, but you definitely, because I think I find more, I've seen more like aqua sea glass in California. Right. Yeah. Um, but I think this tone is so pretty. And there's a couple of these missing because we're using these in the design today. So <laughs> it's like, what happened to your strand? <laughs> <laughs> I <know. laughs> I, I, this is just such a beautiful, it's such a, it's like you said, it's not in your face. This is not a, beach themed with seashells and all of that this is truly truly coastal and it really I, it just I don't know the color palette is I've told a lot of people this is my favorite Sam's Speed box so far and that's that's saying a lot because I've been in love with every single one of them that I have received but I really truly this color palette is all me like it it really is all of my favorite colors the greens the blues the aquas and then all of the naturals that I am, I'm really drawn to in jewelry making. So this checked all of those boxes for me. So as far as like Ooh, my yay. favorite bead, these are probably, it's a, it's a toss up between these and these Amazonite as far as my favorite beads in the box. I, it's so hard for me to pick because I well, love you don't, them. You don't have to. <laughs> Thank goodness for that because they're, <laughs> they're just amazing. This cut, this smooth kind of pebble finish to these rondelles is like giving me life right now. I'm all about mm. that. But then these and the facet, I just, uh, I'm glad that I don't, it, like my life doesn't depend on choosing because there, I couldn't, I couldn't. <laughs> I love them both. Yeah, they do kind of look like, oh, that's interesting. I haven't thought of the Amazonite. <laughs> but it totally does look like a, like it's like a very like unique pebble. Cause yeah. I was, I was telling you that I was thinking about like being on a, on a pebble beach, like not a sandy beach, but one that has like agates all over that you want to pick through and see all the prettiest colors. And yeah. you kind of get some of that in Amazonite because you get those browns mixed into the stone naturally. Yeah. Um, we had a, so the sea glass, um, Sunny, is cultured sea glass. So what basically what that means is it's, it's uh, made to look like real sea glass. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if it were. <laughs> oh, goodness, <There's>, sorry. <laughs> oh, you never have to apologize for your dogs. I love your dogs. <laughs> so base, essentially, cultured sea glass is generally made from recycled glass material, which I think is super cool. Yeah. Um, and then they take that and they shape it and they tumble it and frost it. And you get that really cool texture that is so close um, to like a sea tump, like a, a wave tumbled a sea glass piece that you'd find on the, on the. Wow. On the I didn't know that. I had no idea. That's awesome. Yeah. It's cool. I mean, and also it's nice because you can they because it's man-made, you can they can yeah. have multiples and you can then make an ear a pair of earrings more than one. So like there's right, yeah. I know it's kind of nice for you can kind of has a little bit. I mean, you could definitely pay premium prices for natural sea glass, but yeah. There's something nice about the culture of sea glass that you can get the textures without needing to splurge or and you have the consistency. Yeah. So this is my I can't choose between these two, right? But this is my second in line. I have like the most deep love for melon. That's what that's called, right? It's a melon bead. Mm -hmm. That's a that, check melon. Yeah, I'm obsessed with check melons of all colors. And this one you called artichoke and it totally is. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's yes. I'm loving every bit of that strand. I love um, beads in all sizes, and these are fabulous. I love melons. I ooh, are you into like eight and ten and twelve millimeter melons by chance? Yes. Because yes. I've been looking for people who do who are because I have always loved those like jumbo melons. Mm. I think they're like the coolest shape. I love them. I love them. Love them so so much. Those are beautiful too. We're gonna use these, some of these, and some of the green ones in our design. 
Those are just like, it looks like I just have a little hand of water droplets. They look like bubbles. They do look like bubbles. They're beautiful. I love them. Um, we have a question if you can still order this box. So, I mean, it being a subscription box, the simple answer is no. Currently, you should definitely like go ahead and subscribe so you can start getting in the future months. Um, we have um, a couple dozen extras, though, of this month by chance. And we're going to post those, I think, on like Thursday. So... If you want to join the waitlist, we kind of manually started one. And the way to join it is just to shoot a quick message to the Sam's Bead Shop Facebook page and say, hey, can I? Can you add me to the waitlist? And then yeah. Jesse, who runs that inbox, will reply back to you and say, heck yeah, I'll add you to the waitlist. And then you'll be first in line <laughs> once we release the extra boxes. That's awesome. Uh, and I yeah. love that you do that because some people have so much FOMO, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah. But but, the, but there's a trade-off, Sarah, because the extra box we don't you don't get the subscription discount anymore. The oh, box is oh, is forty nine bucks when you buy it on yeah. its own, and if you're a subscriber, you only pay thirty nine bucks. So it's like basically a twenty percent dis subscriber discount. So you gotta you gotta pick your poison here. Yeah, look at the mermaids, you guys. Look at the little baby mermaids. They're so cute. I love them. Oh, th oh, yay! I th that was what that's so that that was my one of my picks for the box. They're and so fun. I've always loved this mermaid shape. Um, it has really cool. good detail on it. Yeah. Um, it's always been popular in my shop. It's also it was cool to be able to include a more premium strand. These usually go for like eight dollars a strand in the shop. Yeah. Um. So Look that was fun to be able to oh, include. Gosh, this color palette is just it's just. It's all of my favorite things. I, I, this was the perfect box for July for me. These guys, there's a lot of these missing because I used several of these in the original design that I did with Sam on Saturday. So this was a full strand, you guys. And I was obsessed with it. So I used a lot of them. <laughs> so I, I really I, enjoyed this one. Um, me being me, I love st like natural stone. So oh, you'll yeah. always find... Um, at least a couple in the boxes. Um, I think this month we have three different natural stones. That we have the Amazonite, the Artistic Jasper you pulled, and and that agate. Yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful. And then you got two of these beautiful toggles to go with. It's just a gorgeous box. It's just beautiful. And you guys are going to see the versatility of this. I'm going to show you. Um, and look at the pile. Like I mean, I've made. Two pieces of jewelry, and I still have all of this, you guys, if that is any indication of how much you get in the box. It's pretty amazing. So I'm going to very carefully kind of scoot this stuff out of the way, and we're going to use some of these beads to create. We're going to recreate our necklace that we did. Let me take it off the bust so you guys can kind of see it up close and see where we're going. So this was the necklace that we made on Saturday. So <clears throat> I used some of the great big leaves. These were, this was what the entire design was built around were these leaves that I really, really loved. And then I added these little guys. We have these two wire wrapped components with those star cut beads that we were just talking about. And then a piece of chain. I used some silver silk for mine, um, but regular chain works as well. In fact, Leather, some suede, anything that you wanted to can work as the length, but the beads, because the beads are really the star of the show. I felt like this silver silk, this capture chain was the perfect color though to go with this. So that's why I picked that. But we're going to recreate this exact design just in a different, a different color, in a completely different color. So let me lay it out for you so you can see what we're doing. So I'm going to use these drops. So in place of the big leaves that I used in the other one, we're using these drops. And then there was something I forgot to show you guys. Where did it go? My little seahorse. What? Where did what go? Other seahorse? My seahorse. Where did my sea? Oh, it's right here in front of me. Oh my gosh. Oh, goodness. Okay. So I've got two of these drops and there's actually three drops in the, in the box, but I wanted to include the seahorse because he's so cute. So this guy is going here in the middle. So that's going to be what 
the focal here for this was, it's gonna be this. So those, and then we're gonna use our little sea glass drops in between there. And for our little wire wrap sections, we're gonna use the green and the blue. So it's the exact same design, but it has a completely different feeling to it, okay? All right, oh my so gosh, I missed my chance for a live wires joke there. I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> you lost your seahorse and I'm like, oh my God. It, and then literally a minute later, I'm like, oh my God, it wiggled away. <laughs> <laughs> We're all also the seahorse needs a name. <laughs> all about the wiggle. He'll be, he's Wiggly Steve. Wiggly Steve, oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make those wire wrap sections. I'm going to do this kind of quick. I'm going to, I'm not going to spend nearly as much time on these as I did on Saturday um, because this is the second time doing it, but I am going to run down the materials list for you guys. So four and a half inches of 18 gauge wire, and I'm using the small bell making pliers. I'm going to use the smallest portion on one of my ends, and I'm going to make a loop. Okay, so I'm making a loop. I'm not going to center the wire. I'm going to leave it just like it is. I'm going to come to the other end and I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so now I have loops on both ends. Now I'm going to use the larger part of the tool and I'm gonna grab so that those loops are sitting right, that loop sits right up against the tool. There's no extra room in there. It's sitting right on the tool. And I'm gonna roll back and that's gonna create this cute little S. An S for Sam. And then we're gonna put an S on the other end for Sarah. So. <gasps> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so there's one S for Sam and one S for Sarah, all right? There, there they are. Okay, so this little section, we've got to work hard in this, but I'm actually going to make a second one just so you can see it made um, a second time. We do have to have two of these. So I'm going to sit this one down for just a second. We're going to make the other one. Another piece of our wire here, same length. 18 gauge wire and we're going to work hard in these but we're going to do this part first so our loop down here on the other end our small loop okay and now we're going to make the bigger loop to make our little s so again make sure it's right up against the tool bend there's that one and then repeat down here, and there is that one. All right, so we're actually gonna put our beads in between these in this section here. But before we do that, we wanna put these on a block. I've got a little steel block here, and I'm gonna raise you guys up just a little bit so I can get my hammer in. And I'm gonna use a nylon hammer for this. You can use a rawhide mallet, or you can use a rubber hammer. I'm just not using a metal hammer because I don't want to flatten the wire. I just want to harden it. Okay, there's one. That's pretty good. It could use a little more, but I'm, I trust it. It's 18 gauge wire, so it's pretty sturdy. I saw someone was curious about the size of the pliers, which is actually a question we got on Saturday. Yeah. And so that's the Edelon two millimeter and four millimeter pliers. Yes. Um, but you probably could also fig figure out something with the, they're like the six size pliers that they have. You, you yeah. use those two, right? Yeah, absolutely. And they're, they're only off by just like a millimeter. The difference is just, a, it's just one millimeter. You would never know it in your design. So yeah, if those, if this, if the stepped ones are the ones you have, just use the two smallest portions of that. Okay, so now we're gonna string our beads between these and we're gonna use two pieces, one for each of 24 gauge wire. 
and I've got 24 inches of the 24 gauge wire. I'm also using German style wire for this. I'm gonna attach it to one of our loops here and to do that just to make things a little bit easier for myself, I'm going to open that loop just slightly. I'm gonna lay my wire over the component hold everything in place and then i'm going to wire wrap one or two maybe three times if i can um, just to anchor that wire and then i'm going to close that back we'll go ahead and come to the back and trim off the excess let's see where's my cutter trim that off and now i'm going to thread on some of these beautiful beads. Now I'm going to thread on, let's see, one of these blue, two of the green, and they are going to function as kind of one bead when I do the wire wrapping. Another blue. There's going to be a little bit of wiggle room. You'll see. I'll show you in just a second. Two more green and another blue. So now when I drop these down, they're going to sit in this, in the middle portion of our component. They're going to sit between and move this wire wrap over here. Uh, as they sit in that space, there's a little bit of extra room there and it's, it's necessary because of the wire wrapping that we're going to do. So you can see there's there, it looks like there's probably enough room for one more bead, but don't, don't force it. I'm going to come over here to the other loop on the other end and very carefully open it, <clears throat> lay my wire in there and wire wrap. Now this is a 24 inch piece of wire. So we still have plenty of that left over and we're going to use it here in just a second. So wrap that on and then go ahead and close that back. And you guys, if you've been with me for a while, you've actually seen this technique before, but we are going to take the wire. I'm coming to the back. I'm going at an angle behind this first bead and I'm going to come up between that bead and the next two green beads. And I'm going to wrap around the component and the wire that is holding our bead. So it kind of looks like a little, it's like a little triangle. And I'm going to treat the two green beads as a single bead, wrapping around the component in between the beads, right? We, we were just chatting them. in my group about like, how the heck does one use Hishi beads? And <laughs> this is exactly what I was trying to communicate. And I didn't, and I feel like I didn't communicate it because I think Hishis are great stacked together. Exactly I like too. this. I do too. They strengthen numbers. <laughs> hundred <laughs> percent. Like, I, I just think, yeah, because you get, I don't know, there's something about the geometry of actually of having the two separate pieces together that looks, I think it has a really nice. I do too. Um, I do too. Nice effect. So now I'm just going back the other direction. We're going to use up all of this wire. And what happens is because I go the other direction, we create these kind of little, um, little triangle tops to our beads with our wrapping. And you just want to go back and forth filling in the little spaces and I like it to be messy. I don't care if it's perfect. I'm not, uh, I'm not about that life. Now, if you want them to all be lined up and nice and neat, you definitely can go a little bit slower and, and really guide the wire exactly where you want it to go. But I'm all about that kind of messy back and forth. I'm going to use up the rest of my wire and I turn my component over just makes it a little bit easier. Okay, now I'm down to the very last bit of my wire. I can't make it all the way over, but that's okay. I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to wrap it. See that little tail? I'm actually going to take my pliers and I'm going to tuck it through that little open space there. I don't know if I can grab it or not. I need to try to be able to grab it so that I can pull it nice and tight. Um, let's see. There, can you see that little tail of the wire? I'm gonna grab that with my pliers and I'm gonna pull. And then I'm gonna come in and trim that off. So I just kind of wrapped it around and 
We're going to trim off the excess and just kind of tuck it in there. And I know I can run my finger across it. It's not going to come undone. Now, I want to give this, it's nice, it's really cool straight, but I want to give it a nice curve. So I'm going to hold both sides with my thumbs and I'm going to take my index fingers and kind of push down in the center just slightly to give this a little bit of a curve. It's going to give it just a nice little dip. Okay, so one of those is done. We're going to repeat this to make a second one and then we're going to make a cute little middle piece and we're going to put all this together. So it works out pretty quickly. The, the most time consuming part is really just this. So we're going to do that one more time. We're going to open up and we're ready to add our piece of wire. So I've got a second piece of our 24 gauge wire. <laughs> Patty says my, my messy is perfectly adorable. I'll go with that. <laughs> I'm going to call that. That's what I'm going to call all my messes in the future. <laughs> Absolutely. I <laughs> love that. <laughs> Perfectly adorable. All right. I'm going to come to the back, trim that off, and then we'll thread our beads on. Oops. Okay. So, again, same pattern. We're doing one of the blue, two of the green. Blue, two green, and another blue. Okay, bring those down. I'm going to open up the loop. Put that wire right in there. And wire wrap. So as I'm putting this one together and I'm doing the wire wrapping between these beads, Sam, tell everybody what your your live schedule is because you're pretty busy. You've got a lot of live. <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, let's see. Today is Tuesday. So what's what's coming up? Um, we do now two live sales um, each week. Thursday is like our big day. So definitely come join us on Thursday. It's a lot of fun. We call it uh, happy hour at Sam's Bead Shop. Um, it got its name originally because I would bring on guests to perform and my mom would come one time came and showed how to cook something and <laughs> it was fun. Eventually I'll probably mix in guests again, but we still kept the name of our happy hour because it's our time to, it's like our, you guys, you guys have your, your chit chat time. And that, that's one of, that's one of our main hangouts at Sam over at Sam's Bead Shop. And that's when I get to show all the pretty new beads of the week. Um, it's also the only time there's really a sale each week usually. I, sh I pick out a selection of items that are 15% off usually, 15 to 20% off. So that's definitely a great chance to get some of those deals. But what else? We do a weekly class. Mm -hmm. um, has been on Thursdays. We're potentially going to move that to Friday starting this week just so I can <laughs> um, then – have a full weekend right. for Sam, reco Sam recovery time. <laughs> um, so that's Fridays. We have the live sale Thursday. And then we do a mini, our second live sale is a mini Monday. So we, I try to keep it less than an hour. Um, so Monday. it doesn't have I to. Yeah. I mean, cause we're, <laughs> you hope, I hope the live sale can like add some good vibes to your Monday, but it doesn't need to be your entire evening. Right. So you just come hang with us for like 30 to 45 minutes. Um, and then I show, and I show a few more beads then too. Um, on yesterday, I, you I was kind of inspired by you, Sarah. Um, and I put together some like collections, some pallets of items, just of items from the shop. I was like, these kind of look pretty together. Um, kind of inspired by what I what I do in the bead box, but kind of curious if I could do that with inventory in the shop. So I showed three different blue color palettes was the idea uh, yesterday. Yeah. So we had some like an appetite palette. We had an Amazonite palette and that was fun um, for me. I like, I love, that's all, that was, that's always my favorite part of designing is yeah. finding things to go together. 
So even if I'm not the one who's actually going to put it together, I still get to do it. So that was fun for me yesterday. Um, but yeah, that's basically the schedule. We got a class and two lives. That's kind of the, that's, that's what we do each week. Yeah. That's all. And then you've got Facebook groups. <clears throat> yeah, we have, there's two groups. Um, the most active one these days is the gem chat group. So that's our, like our social yeah. bead chat group where everyone gets to show off and ask questions and whatnot. Um, and then there's also Sam's Beach Shop VIP, which used to be the place where I would post like albums of items, but actually haven't done that recently because since we've switched over to more of the live sales. Right. Um, but still there's, we're <laughs> maybe in the future TBD. Um, but those are, those are the two Sam's Bead Shop groups if you want to check them out. Um, I love it. You, I love the I, community that you have. Um, and, and it's quickly, like, like you mentioned on Saturday, it's quickly becoming our, our community, you know, where there's a lot of the same people in both places and such a amazing group of bead artists and just friendly, inspiring, non-judgmental, uplifting people. Like we're so fortunate that we have those kinds of people. So. Oh, absolutely. And just fun people. Like yeah. <laughs> that's sometimes that's just the best part of this is we just getting to meet more fun people. Yeah. And I am so down for that. You know, I think it was some of your folks um, that introduced us. Like, I don't think we would have met without our communities, yeah. like, bringing us together. Yep. Which I think is kind of cool. I do, too. I do, too. They were like, uh, don't you know, Sam? What are you doing with your life? You must meet Sam. He needs to be <laughs> part of your life. <laughs> and they were so right. They were so right. So, yeah. It's, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. They, they I hope I'm not distracting. I hope I'm not distracting from the design too much. I feel like I'm... No, no. Did you guys already... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. This stuff, a lot of this, everybody has seen me do a million times before. I was just kind of wire wrapping these. And uh, I'm actually going to do a knotted head pin real quick. And then we'll make our little centerpiece, which is this. But I do want to make sure that everybody sees how to do it. So, um, but first, I'm going to wire wrap this guy. And we're going to do a knotted head pin. Have you made a knotted head pin yet, Sam? I don't think I've actually made one, but I've seen you make one. Right. <laughs> You're going to need to try. You're going to need to try one because they're so easy and fun. So I'm going to take, this is Wanda's, Wanda needs to uh, scream out, not in head pin alert. That's her job. Um, so we're going to grab the end of a piece. I like to use 22 gauge wire for this, but you can use any gauge that you want to. Okay. There she goes. Awesome. <laughs> All right. I'm going to grab the wire at the very tip of the wire and with the tip of round nose pliers. I'm going to roll that wire around the tip of the pliers once all the way around. And then I'm going to go a second time directly underneath that first wrap. And I want to stop right where I can see the cut in the wire. So I know I've been around two times. Now, before I take it off of the tool, I'm going to turn my pliers this direction. So they're running, you know, side to side right in front of me. I'm going to take that wire and I'm going to bend it underneath those two wraps that I made. So a lot of people take it off of the tool and then try to bend the wire the other direction. You want the wire to go underneath those two wraps. So I'm going to take it off of the tool. I'm going to take the wire and bend it back on itself and go through those loops. So you make kind of like a little lasso. Then the most important part of this is your nylon jaw pliers. Do not do this with regular pliers. You will strip the coating on the outside of your wire. Grab the wire, make sure your two little loops, your little coils are right up against the nylon and take another pair of pliers and give it a pull. And what you do is you, you tie a little knot in the end of your wire and the knot looks like a little rosette. It's like a little flower and you've got yourself a head pin. Now, why would you want to do that? because you know you can buy ready-made head pins. Part of the reason that I love to do this is because it keeps all of my wire consistent in color and in gauge. Because sometimes I have head pins and particularly when I'm working with golds and coppers and sometimes the pre-made 
uh, components and, and head pins and eye pins are not the same color as the jump rings that I'm using or the wire that I'm using. Right. And this, a, this fixes it. Yeah, instantly. this fixes that. So I'm going to do a wrap loop here and I'm actually going to double up my wire wraps. So I make like my slouchy sock. I'll show you. We're going <laughs> to. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like a slouchy sock. I'll show you. So we're going to do our regular wire wrap first. So we're going up and over. We're going to rotate the pliers, take the wire over to the other side. And now we're going to wire wrap. But this wire wrap is very thin compared to the top of the bead, right? It's a little unbalanced. So sometimes when that happens, I will take my leftover wire and I will wrap back bottom to top over those wraps that I've already made. And that just kind of balances out the wire a little bit. But when you do it, it looks like a slouchy sock, right? Because it's like if you take your socks and you scrunch them down, it looks like that's what it looks like. So that's why I call it. It's like, <laughs> like it totally <laughs> silly, but people remember it. So <laughs> we did the little slouchy sock wire wrap. And now it's a little bit more balanced at the top. So does have a purpose. It does have a purpose. Okay, so we're we're almost ready to put all of this together. We've got one more thing to complete, and then it just takes a little bit of jump rings to put all this together. So we're gonna make this component. This is the exact same component that the larger ones are. This is just on a smaller scale. So we're gonna take a three inch piece of that 18 gauge wire and we're just going to repeat those same steps that we did with the other pieces we're going to make the small loops on either side laurie says <laughs> slouchy socks and tushy knots i'm learning yep those are two things that we do in the sarah lovecraft designs community is slouchy socks and tushy knots those are two of my favorite things <laughs> Y'all have too much fun. I know. <laughs> That's not possible. That's not possible. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We've made our little component, right? It's just smaller. The little space in between here is much smaller. I'm going to give it a nice bend because I want it to have that kind of V shape. So I'm just very slightly pushing down in the center to create that shape that I want. And now I'm going to put it on the block and I'm going to work hard in it just a little bit. And then we're just going to put all of this together. And I can't wait to show you the finished piece and then show you the other one and how different they look. So you can kind of see them side by side. I think I'm going to name slouchy socks for me, grumpy pug. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> because what else has such extreme rolls on their face exactly. a pug oh my gosh i love that i love that so much okay hold on i want to open up the picture of this to be sure that i put this together the right way i never i never can remember which loops what goes on so okay i'm gonna the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take some jump rings and where's my other pair of pliers i have such a mess in front of me right now okay so I'm going to take a jump ring and open that up. I'm going to attach one of these ends to one of these ends. And I'll put this back so you can see. Uh-oh. Goodness. Okay. So close that back. <clears throat> I'm just using six millimeter jump rings for this part. I'm going to do the same thing with the other. Stacia says, is it possible to do two wires at what at once? Which wires are we talking about? Maybe. It depends. <laughs> I'm going to need a little more info. Okay, so <laughs> I love that <the> response. <laughs> <laughs> Me when I do customer service, can you please give me more? <laughs> Sorry, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you um, know how like some some folks have like different names on like Facebook <laughs> than on like elsewhere, and like sometimes we struggle. I'm like, wait, who are you? We would yeah. like to help you, but who are you? <laughs> <laughs> who is this again? <laughs> 
So my loops on the top of these large beads, I don't know, you were, you were talking and I, I didn't mention this part and it's not that really that big of a deal, but I just did simple loops on the top of these. Don't look at that one. That's like the worst little loop I've ever made in my life, but there are simple loops. This one's also very crooked and terrible looking, but I did simple loops on these so that I could open and close these <laughs> easily Smart. and um, attach them and then close them back instead of wire wrapping these on to the component, which is fine, but can be kind of, you know, it's just a lot. It was just a lot. So that was my easy way. So my little um, seahorse goes in the middle and I'm attaching these guys to these loops. Maybe if I can get that one open. Okay. All right, now the last thing to attach are these. And these do have wrapped loops, so I can't open these loops. Uh, so if you wanna use jump rings, you can, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna open up one of these little loops right here. I'm gonna thread this on, and I'm just going to kind of sneak it around and then close that back and make sure that that is nice and closed now. So that was kind of my way around you, instead of using a jump ring. So just snake that on there, close that back. So a little bit different. I had to do things a little bit differently with this necklace because of the way that the beads were shaped. Whereas the beads on the other piece um, were not wire wrapped. They just, well, they were, but they were um, briolette type drilled holes. So there's the centerpiece. That's all done. Now I'm just going to add. So far. I'm just going to add to it. So since ah. I use silver silk on the other one, I'm going to use silver silk on this one. But I'm going to use this blue. Ah, how did Neela have the perfect color? I know, right? Uh, it was it was like meant to be. It was meant to be. Oh my god! I'm tagging him in the comments. What? <laughs> Neela, how did you have the perfect <laughs> color? Wow, I'm such a slow typer of silver silk. All right, and there we go, you guys. So there's the blue, right? And I'll show you what that looks like on the bust. But then you got to remember that this beautiful gold and brown came from the exact same box, right? Two totally different styles. I'm Well, it's the same style, but two totally different feelings. I'm going to turn you guys around and put this on the bus so you can really see it. And that'll give you kind of a, a better idea of, oh, thank you, Kay. How did that happen? <laughs> How did you get up there? <laughs> I'm not mad about it though. All right. So this was the, this was the original, right? This is the one we made on Saturday. Whoops. I never can get that on there the right way. So that's, that's the one we made on Saturday, but then the one that we just made, actually, let me, I'm going to put them both together so you can see them together here. Just a second. Now I wouldn't necessarily wear them together, but you can see how totally different, totally different, same techniques, same everything, but one is blue and green, which has just like a calming kind of feeling to it. Whereas this one is a little bit more earthy, right? But all of the beads came from the box, right? Which is just amazing to me. It's just amazing. That's cool. They're, to the they're, they're, they're so different. They are so, so different. I'm going to put you back on the screen. There you are. Yay. Oh, I'm so big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can show you my mug now. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. That is so <laughs> and perfect. I love it. That's awesome. So there you go, you guys. So pretty. I know. And it's because of the beads from the bead box, right? Oh, and Sarah, please. <laughs> You're not giving yourself enough credit again. Uh-uh, not going to happen. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it, the design is pretty 
straightforward. It's, there's not a lot to it, right? It's all things with wire that I feel like with a little bit of practice, everybody can accomplish. Totally. And, and that's great. But the beads are what really kind of tell the story of the piece. And one of them is definitely kind of like earthy and kind of autumn or late, even late summer kind of feel to it. Whereas the other one has like this kind of calming, you know, very kind of peaceful, serene look to it. And I can't achieve that with wire. I can only achieve that with the beads and the beads that you've provided gave me the opportunity to create two totally different feelings out of mm -hmm. the same technique. So it's, it's really well matched. I think we, we work well together, Sam. <laughs> I, I agree. I, I, it's so funny because I think of it as like, these are like paints that I'm offering you, but yes, a, a, a painting not, just doesn't just happen on its own. <laughs> like, because I know what happens when I, <laughs> I start painting. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> I should do one of those wine and paint nights just for the, just to laugh at myself for an evening. <laughs> That would, I, I've always wanted to do one of those. <laughs> me too, me too. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way with paint too. I can't paint on a flat surface. I can paint on texture, but I can't paint on a flat surface. So I definitely can identify with that for sure. But you're right. It's like you've given us a paint palette that we can create with. And just by changing the colors from one box gives a completely different feeling. And it's totally. just... It's really cool to me. It's just, it's, it's the, the magic of color and texture. And that was something that I forgot to mention was how much texture was texture was included in this box. There were the melons mm -hmm. and the facets and the star cuts and the smooth kind of pebbles. And it really was not just about color with this. This was also a lesson in texture and how those textures mm -hmm. work really well together. Um, so mm. you, you, you're doing amazing things, Sam. You're doing amazing things. Well, and thank you, sir. I, 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 I bathe in your comments and your, your compliments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, well, I love what you came up with the box. I think it is so special. Thank you. Thank and I think I bet people are feeling like, I, I imagine if I was receiving this box and then saw these ideas, like, so inspiring to see yeah. uh, the possibilities you've seen this box. And this is like only one design, like make this and then go make your own, your own design using the box. Like there's exactly. so much, there's so much potential here. And guys, remember the pile that I still had left over. I've made two full pieces of jewelry here, but mm -hmm. I still have, you know, three fourths of this box left to create with. And it's just amazing to me how, how much, you know, how much, how much, many beads you have given me to work with you know it's like i said i i, I feel I, I feel like you're you're sharing secrets with us <laughs> oh. <laughs> secret club and you i just get to share them. my favorite things that's what i get to do yeah it's pretty amazing so i i am i am so thankful i'm thankful to get to work with you and that we were you know brought together into the industry and to get to share a birthday month with you you guys mm -hmm. sam had a birthday too this month so it's it's uh it's all about the July babies this month. <laughs> Us and our rubies. <laughs> yes. Oh gosh, yes. Oh, Sam, it's been awesome. It has been awesome. This has been so fun. So much. Yes, it has. I'm. I feel so accomplished because now I can use Streamyard and I can thank you for that. And <laughs> we had a great show. I got to play with beautiful beads and hang out with an amazing person. So thank you for letting me start my week out this way. It's yeah, of course. Can't think of a better way. <laughs> and I think I get to see you like once more this week in your paid group. Shout out, go sign up for Sarah's paid group. Yes. Um. <laughs> yes. So those of you who are part of the hardwired group. Sam is our special guest this week. And we had originally in the um the schedule, it was written in that it was Thursday. It's not. It's Friday, right? Mm -hmm. I got that right this time. Friday, yeah, Friday. 7 p.m. Eastern time for everybody in the hardwired group. Sam is gonna be with us again. So you guys are gonna see some more of Sam this week. <gasps> and Susie also says Ruby Project. Ooh, ooh, Sam. Oh. Yeah. Rubies and pearls. Oh. 
oh, I'm feeling that all day long. <laughs> oh. If I can get behind. Ooh, I gotta get, I gotta get more rubies because I got rubies last week and they sold out in one minute. <laughs> yeah, they were so pretty. You also have to let me know ahead of time so I can be there for that <laughs> one minute. <laughs> Right. Sure I, I gotta get more because I, I had rubies and pearls and they were oh to die for Sarah but anyway we yeah. must I guess it's it's already oh my god it's eleven thirty six already oh my gosh I know I know time flies when you're having fun but I'm Heck gonna yeah. let you go so you can get on with your day I'm gonna go grab some lunch because I've got another live at 4 p.m with my hardwired <gasps> group sweet yeah, so I'm going to go. But again, guys, you're going to see Sam again this week if you're part of the Hardwired group. Also, you're also going to see Neele this week on <gasps> Thursday at 1 p.m. So I've got, I, my week is packed full of just fabulousness. So. Wow, that yeah. is, oh my gosh, have fun with Neele. I will, I will. And one of these days, we're going to get us all three together and we're going to do something fabulous. So y'all just oh, absolutely. wait for the day. It's going to be amazing. All right, everybody, thank you for hanging out with us this Tuesday. And I will see you guys again very, very soon. Sam, we will see you again very, very soon. See thank you, you Friday. So much, so much, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for having me on. This is so much yes. fun. I always, I always leave feeling so good. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it when you're here. So, <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, Sarah. Happy post-birthday. Thank you. <laughs>